Good morning. This is Kara with the Ministry of Uncovering No More. There is Tadashi walking around me. Constantly purring. You can tell I'm on the floor. Don't you just love my carpet? It's dirty, but it's okay. I wanted to show you something today. Uh, this basil tree, bush, you'd call it a bush. I saw it as a basil tree, and I actually grew too much basil this year, which is a positive thing. I just won't grow that much next year. Um, I pulled it up by the roots because this is like the third time that it's bushed out. I've released pictures on social media that are all gone of this bush. It was incredible. And I have done it homage. This is my mother's punch bowl back in the day. I have a set of this. I need a little bit more wine glasses and whatnot. But right now I will say that cut glass set, you could get pieces of it at Fed Mart when you grocery shopped. And so that's how mom collected some pretty dishes on a budget. We don't have that kind of thing anymore. I am not sad, because here's the thing. I've released my mom in forgiveness, but um, during all of her Christian life, she wove a false society. Now I am going to tell you that I do not forgive the Christian society, because here's the deal. My mother was raped and molested as a child. There's incessant behavior in the Klonic family, and they expected any of us that were a part of the beautiful tree of life coming through the Christian, Christian life of that difficult thing that indeed they did pull up from with much help. And the babies were some of them that helped them and it's really a gorgeous testimony until you want to realize that I've been backstabbed by these said Christians, and here's the deal. I'm going to also fault the psychiatric world. We can't get to your services for one reason. You kill us with drugs. Let that sink in. It's a good thing. But the fact that my fellow human cannot get insulin without going broke is wrong. Do you see the difference in the two types of medical helps ministries? Now, why are you being so drastic, Kara? Because I should be. Because the thing is, is that there is a whole realm of studies and literature and blogs and nurturing that should be available because there is a whole tribe of people. If you were molested or raped as a child, you're beautiful as who you are, but the society that you live in requires hiddenness because the Christian church is a judgmental piece of shit and the Catholics okay most people who have had to rip our souls righteous souls out of that vitriol called the Christian Catholic Church have beautiful stories of faithfulness my mother is not included in that because she put an expectation upon her only child to whitewash that shit. She had every intention of hiding her actual life with her family through my entire life. Bisexuality homosexuality, 
controlling heterosexuality. Let me speak to these things. The society did that to you. Are you saying that we should be heterosexual just like you, Kara, perfectly? No. I'm saying the psychiatric society is fucked up and about drugs and they don't care about you. Let me repeat. If you are a beautiful homosexual, you have to hide your life. You're, you're already rejected. And you already know that. If you're a beautiful bisexual, you have to hide your life. You're already rejected. And you know that. If you are trans, you have to hide your life. You are already rejected and you know that. Okay. Now, I am one of the most perfect heterosexuals out there. And I can tell you point blank that I stand in your stead because I have to hide my life. It is rejected of humankind. All of it that stands by Christianity or its derivatives, Catholic, Protestant, you name it. Now, Let's go to the New Testament. Did Jesus tell us all that he is rejected of men, humankind? That's all I'm saying, but I'm a female or a girl. And here's what I'm going to do, babes. I'm going to slap you upside the head, upside the backside, not the head. This is a normal thing. I don't slap anybody. I actually invited a child to slap me who did. It's been so hard for them. They didn't hurt. But it did help them. What about you, Kara? Did you not hear me? I am rejected of humankind. And still here. I just wrote a blog article. Somebody else typed the first word of the title. Go ahead, America. Don't believe me. But what you're not going to do is reject my people. We come from every tribe, tongue, people, and nation. We are we. This is true. Chris and I were youth minute pastors. Edith was a baby. This is the commandment that you love one another. And I will tell you that these three people still do that regardless of what society has done to us. And you can fuck hell, psychiatry world, until you give us beautiful literature and studies about what it actually does to a human being to be violated. Because they're not the same person. And I am talking about children until you, psychi psychiatric world, can call off the wickedness with all of your bunk advice, 
don't come knocking at our door anymore. You don't anymore have enough information about the real people. Then I have information about, you name it, I don't have that information. What I can do is interpret. And I'm not going to do it. Because there are two people in America today. One of them is me. The other one typed the first word of a title on a blog article of mine. And that word is we. And you'll never get us in the room interpreting for you Revelation 13. But I'm privileged to read it. Don't believe me? Believe the basil tree and rest. I'm taking care of the rest of this bullshit that spun out against my children. And I'm going to do it my way. After I read Revelation 13, I will close with what my next step is today because, hey, Christians, you're supposed to take it one day at a time. You need to do better than yesterday. I'm not talking to anybody but Christians. And there's a boat fucking load of those now, aren't there? Black screen. Revelation chapter 13. And I stood upon the sand of the sea and saw a beast rise up out of the sea having seven heads and ten horns, and upon his horns ten crowns, and upon his heads the name of blasphemy. And the beast which I saw was like unto a leopard, and his feet were as the feet of a bear, and his mouth as the mouth of a lion. And the dragon gave him his power, and his seat, and great authority. And I saw one of his heads, as it were, wounded to death. And his deadly wound was healed. And all the world wondered after the beast. And they worshipped the dragon, which gave power unto the beast. And they worshipped the beast, saying, Who is like unto the beast? Who is able to make war with him? And there was given unto him a mouth speaking great things and blasphemies. And power was given unto him to continue forty and two months. And he opened his mouth in blasphemy against God to blaspheme his name and his tabernacle and them that dwell in heaven. And it was given unto him to make war with the saints and to overcome them. And power was given him over all kindreds and tongues and nations. And all that dwell upon the earth shall worship him, whose names are not written in the book of life of the Lamb slain from the foundations of the world. If any man have an ear, let him hear. I'm just a woman. He that leadeth into captivity shall go into captivity. He that killeth with the sword must be killed with the sword. Or the AR-15, as it were. Here is the patience and the faith of the saints. And I beheld another beast coming up out of the earth. And he had two horns like a lamb. And he spake as a dragon. And 
he exerciseth all power of the first beast before him, and causeth the earth and them which dwell therein to worship the first beast, whose deadly wound was healed. And he doeth great wonders, so that he maketh fire come down from heaven on the earth in the sight of men, and deceiveth them that dwell on the earth by the means of those miracles which he had power to do in the sight of the beast, saying to them that dwell on the earth that they should make an image to the beast which had the wound by a sword and did live. And he had power to give life unto the image of the beast, that the image of the beast should both speak and cause that as many as would not worship the image of the beast should be killed. <clears throat> that is not COVID-19. But what is being proven in the courts right now is that COVID-19 was used by the Republican Party, number one. Number two, let me take you back to when I was born, Lyndon Baines Johnson, Richard Nixon, traitor. Anybody who puts politics over stopping any war is what I would suggest you look at here, America. And he, do, and he doeth great wonders, so that he maketh fire come down from heaven on the earth in the sight of men. That's verse 13, <laughs> Revelation 13, 13. No wonder Friday the 13th is so much fun and deceiveth them that dwell on the earth by the means of those miracles which he had power to do in the sight of the beast, saying to them that dwell on the earth that they should make an image to the beast which had the wound by a sword and did live. Miracle of miracles. And he had power to give life unto the image of the beast, that the image of the beast should both speak and cause, that as many as would not worship the image of the beast should be killed. Why don't you go look up the statistics of people dying left and right because of how other people are killing this society who have the power, America? And he causeth all, both small and great, rich and poor, free and bond, to receive a mark in their right hand or in their foreheads. <laughs> I don't have the mark. Those that are in the Lamb's Book of Life do not have any mark. And we are the elect. Go look that word up in the New Testament. King James, babies. King James, public domain. And that no man might buy or sell, save he had the mark or the name of the beast or the number of his name. Here is wisdom. Let him that hath understanding count the number of the beast. For it is the number of a man, and his number is six hundred, three score, and six. And I can tell you, America, that with no doubt whatsoever, there is only one man who opens the seals. And his name is the King of Kings. He actually has many names. America? He has many names. In this day and age, it is fully proven that there is only one man. I'm stretching to get up to show you what my next step is. And I am as good as my word, my loves. I will do the next thing, and that's what I'm asking you to do for the man who has
has many names. With me, forget about the past. It's all fucked, but he's here. So let's go together as we Let's let the world keep falling apart just like they want to. That is definitely none of our business. I'm going to read my poetry, which I have committed to do at least once a day, but I'm probably going to up it to twice. And I have the website to, to develop that. I have a chair, and that's fresh juice, which I have decided never again am I going to juice the socks of broccoli because it tastes like broccoli. So this is my last cup of that. I'm gonna get new juicing stuff uh, tomorrow when I go somewhere, because I go somewhere tw twice a week, generally speaking. Okay, have a nice day.